Hello everyone, my name is The Fox. This is the GPD XD Plus. Uh, this is running Clean ROM version 2.0.1.4. 2.0.2 is available from Black Seraph's Patreon, but you can get this for free and the latest version will eventually be for free. But uh, if you want the latest updates, you're gonna need to hop onto that Patreon train. Now, one of the reasons that I've never actually reviewed the GPD XD Plus proper is that I was waiting for the software to more or less be fully baked. And while we're almost there, we still have the PowerVR um, GPU old GPU driver, which has the bugs that are still present as they were. So if you've looked at any previous GPDXC Plus reviews, some referencing like texture problems, there was a Saturn emulator issue, but I believe the dev has actually worked around the particular driver issue. So there's some little things left, mostly with regard to native Android games themselves versus emulation. One big issue was the CPU hop-up support. Um, prior to that fix, the screen refresh would hover around like 57 or 58 uh, hertz. Um, so it kind of made emulation suffer a little bit, but now this is fixed. And because it also offered some benefits, Black Seraph actually allows you to toggle it on and off in the event that you actually wanted it. This headphone jack polarity, I believe has to do with the two different versions of the GPDXC Plus. This GPDXD Plus is still the prototype, the prototype that I got before any XD Pluses were even available anywhere ever. Uh, and it runs clean run just fine. And it runs more or less like anyone should expect, uh, especially with all of Black Seraph's fixes, like using the HDMI with the lid closed, uh, the additional channel support on the Wi-Fi. So you can see right now it says I have 87 megabits uh, per second on my five gigahertz. We'll go ahead and jump into speed test, which I've already done. You can see that it's 39.3 and 29 up, um, but we'll go ahead and redo this test. One of the things that I'd like to do for this particular video is to run two things on my local Wi-Fi, and I'm gonna try to also uh, bridge my Android uh, device as well. So I'll just create a little uh, access point off of that and run off my cellular. Here we're seeing that I'm actually getting uh, pretty close to what my um, landline speed is. My speeds are 75 megabit up and down. You can see that the upload is kind of lagging behind. I am using Verizon files, so this is not um, cable issues as I have a direct connection to that. But you can see that that is what my connection speed is currently with my Wi-Fi. So if we go ahead and jump into Steam Link, we're gonna go ahead and run a test that will go to settings. We're gonna go to streaming. We're gonna say network test. And right now you can see I'm connecting to NY Awesome. And that is a device that is 10, 12 miles away from me. Um, and obviously we're doing this through the internet and this is via Steam Link's thing. So you can see it says 35 megabit. Great, fantastic. Let's go ahead and start playing. I've already started a game, so we're gonna kinda like just jump into it and we'll briefly go over some stuff, but I just wanna kinda just get this going as fast as I possibly can. So sound is working just fine. I'm using just stereo. So if I press up here, oh, I've already gone ahead and done that. We can more or less see, I don't know, this game is too dark for me to be, uh, this is like glare and I'm getting in that screen a little, so I do apologize for that. But latency wise, things seem fine. We can kind of like just see Latency-wise, it's pretty good. Resolution-wise, things look good. So now if you press Start, that would act as the Escape button, and that would happen just fine. And if we press Select on this device itself, we get kind of the um, screen big, uh, Steam Big Picture mode. We'll go ahead and we'll go down to Exit Game. And I'm going to start a game, because right now Condemned uh, is a game that only actually supports keyboard and mouse, and you're actually seeing... Uh, a configuration that the community provided and it kind of automatically mapped to the GPDXD Plus. I did absolutely nothing to make that work. It just kind of auto magically worked, which is awesome. So we're going to play Doom now. Hey guys, what's going on? We're going to play Doom now. I haven't actually tried this, so we're going to actually see how well this actually functions. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to just play a game real quick and not have it crash on me like that. And then go in, then I'll try to see how well connecting my LTE. Looks good so far. 
You see it says streaming from NY Awesome to GBXD Plus. Using configs from Fox. All right, I'm gonna kind of skip ahead of this. This is kind of funny because I had the uh, settings all set. So this 60 FPS thing that you're seeing is actually the host machine reporting that. And you can see that it's running a GTX 690. Uh, okay, it's kind of in, ugh, so fast. Sensitivity is a little bit high, and I'll worry about fixing that later. So it says press, there we go. So that's R3, which is kind of nice to have. And it's running very well. Now, obviously the 60 FPS doesn't matter. It's not running locally, it's not running natively. That's running on the streamed machine. So latency and like resolution seems to be really good. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna, so from my Wi-Fi to the machine, it seems really friggin' good. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and connect to my phone now and see how well that works. So I'm going to press select. I don't want to get quit streaming, so I'm just going to press that. So give me a second. I'm going to go connect to my phone. All right, so I have that up open. Uh, let me not share my password. All right, so we're connected. It's Android AP Tha, short for Fox. Let me get this hair out of the way. And let's go and load up Steam Link again and see if how well this works. We're going to go ahead and do a little uh, bandwidth setting again. We'll so go streaming, say network test, and we'll see how well this performs. Five megabit. Okay, this is not going to be good. So let's go ahead and go to fast and just hold on one second. See how well if my T Mobile LT can pick up. All right, so it's still at three megabits. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the band, the streaming connection to fast. Now, again, the game should still be running and it is. We can kind of see how kind of gnarly this has gotten. Oh yeah, it's no good at all. You can kind of hear the. Hey, you can't even. This is not good at all. All right, <laughs> this, uh, I'm gonna say, uh, you're gonna need a pretty, now the thing is here, like let me go show you what kind of connection speeds I get on my phone itself, one second. All right, so very quickly, let's go ahead and just take a look at um, the LTE speeds that I'm getting out of this. And we can see that we're getting considerably less over the Android access point. So potentially I'm, I'd be better off if I like rooted and I was doing this outside of the system level access point. Although even my upload is, no. I have a feeling that if you are rooted and you're doing it outside of the mobile carrier's purview, they might be throttling within that to prevent these types of instances because these speeds should have been more than enough for me to do it. I mean, I could also just do Steam Link Beta on that directly, but uh, let me just kind of cap this off with kind of playing Doom and we'll see how well that works. All right, so we're back on my local Wi-Fi. I should really mess with the uh, latency. 
Ugh. Ugh. Um. Mouse and keyboard. Ugh. Ugh. Mouse look speed lower, please. Goodness. Oh my god. Oh, okay, that's, I guess, better. Uh, escape, please. Eh, yeah, it is. Mouse look is, but it's, well, yeah, now it's super slow. Press what? You got my boomstick. Alright, I'll we'll just do this real quick. Can I get this? So yeah. Um yeah, this is the GBDXD Plus. It's running Steam Link Beta. Works really well on my local Wi-Fi. I would wager that it would work really good over cellular. It probably just needs to get a little hack action to kind of um, release any type of artificial thresholds put upon it. Um, but as you can see, it runs really, really well. Um, so yeah, if you wanted to kind of take a look at that, and the GBDXD Plus does run it well. It's a really cool new feature by Valve, so that looks kind of bright even though it's in beta. As always, thank you for your time. And thanks for watching.